everyone and welcome back to my YouTube channel. My name is Chiara and I run the blog at Instagram Chiara's Atelier and this is Chloe and she is also a shoe addict. I'm very happy to announce that my dog does not bite any shoes so that's a real joy. Um, but she just likes to look at pretty shoes and I can completely relate because today I'm talking about my shoe habit. But it's a shoe habit that I cannot fulfill which is Amina Muadi shoes. Oh, her shoes are beautiful. They're like sexy, beautiful, fashionable. Oh, love them. And she makes those beautiful Perspex Cinderella shoes. Prince Charming is quaking. Um, and I can't get my hands on them, literally. But I did manage to get my pair. Pair? See how excited I'm getting? I did manage to get my hands on a pair of Amina Muadi shoes. They are called the Lupitas, or as I like to call them, my Barbie girl shoes. I'm a Barbie girl in a Barbie world. Life is plastic. It's fantastic. I won't get copyrighted because that singing was atrocious. But as I was saying, I managed to get my hands on a pair of the Lupitas. This was a 100% impulse purchase because I was scared. I was like, oh my God, if I don't buy these shoes, I'm never going to get them. I'm never going to get my pair hands on a pair of Amina Muadis. See how excited I'm getting talking about these shoes. And I just love saying her name, Amina Muadi. Oh, and also she is stunning. Oh, as I start fangirling over Amina Muadi, I thought I'd talk about these shoes. Because when I was buying these shoes, I hadn't seen any reviews, any thoughts about this particular style. Now I know that this particular style, I can still find some in stock in different colors and different sizes. So I will link ev anything and everything I can find Amina Muadi because those shoes are impossible to find. They're literally like toilet paper in this current plight we're having in the world. Trying to make light of the bad situation but it is literally like trying finding toilet paper currently in the supermarket like sainsbury's or anywhere it might be even easier to find a unicorn at this point but anyway i did manage to find myself a pair of these so i thought i'd do a little bit of a chat about my experience with these shoes what do i think about the lupitas they are beautiful i mean just look at them it's almost like what i love about them is they're like kind of a stripper shoe but she's made them fashion you know appropriate for fashion week what I love is this Perspex heel. You can see the kind of steel rod in the shoe and this trumpet heel. The trumpet heel secures you. You are not teeter-tottering. You're not Bambi on ice. You're not skating through, I was going to say the mall or wherever you're going, the shops, anywhere, the bar. You're not slipping because this is just steady. It's just like, you know, you're to the floor. Why no other place is doing this? Amina, shout out for this trumpet heel because it's great. Then it's this little thing, which was my biggest concern. Now, this is kind of a Perspex rubbery kind of material because I was terrified that it was going to rip my feet to shreds. I thought I was going to have ribbons. And I have some shoes that are way more expensive than this that have shredded my feet. And these didn't. This was just like a hug for your foot. Um, I didn't feel like any cutting or anything like that. Like, to be fair, I've worn these only twice and it's not been for a super long period of time. Like, I didn't go out dancing. They were just a walking around shoe and I really enjoyed them. Like, they didn't hurt. And I feel like because of this kind of material, I don't feel like it would, you know. Um, and now I've seen some quality issues about, the, like, some of the shoes. And to be honest, I haven't seen any issues with these. These are really well made. Nothing's falling apart. My only bugbear, only, only bugbear is the heel if you can see because it's just this plastic it's kind of started to like age like this and get all like scratched up because of the floor which is my only like bugbear and i'm a bit scared that it would do that all the way up but i guess this is not an everyday shoe but chloe is moving she settled again do i recommend these shoes yes because you know perspex foot shoes are notoriously uncomfortable but these Bad boys or bad girls. Barbie girls. Da, da, da. Barbie girl song still playing in my head. Um, are fantastic and they're so comfortable. I mean, my only issue with Amina Muadi is where can I get my next pair? So these are my little tips I suggest that trying to go get a pair. Like I managed to snag these in Harrods, but you have to kind of keep an eye out on her Instagram so turn on your notifications for her Instagram account and the business account she does these drops and to be completely honest I don't exactly know where things are dropping 
uh, like she dropped something and I'm like, where did they go? Where did they go? It's like the Hunger Games. I never watched the Hunger Games, but it sounds as scary as the Hunger Games. Um, don't know where they go, but just keep an eye on that. But I will tell you that on the 18th of March, there's going to be an exclusive collection with my Teresa. And girl, I'm going to be there with my contacts in, all my glasses being like, give me some shoes and there's some delicious ones oh delicious if you want to see more amina muadi kind of content you should check out cassie's video over here on youtube she did an amazing collection of her kind of amina shoes and what she thought about them and that was really insightful and that's what inspired me to talk about the lupitas because there wasn't really anything about it and i thought that if anyone wants to buy them they would want to see someone's thoughts on it so i hope that this was really really helpful and check out my instagram because i will be showing how i've styled these shoes up um and please don't forget to like and subscribe if you do enjoy these type of videos there will be more shoes bags anything like that if you'd like me to do a best and worst shoes kind of review i'll be more than happy to do that so i'll see you again soon